Greenlay, a spectacular save here. This is an excellent save, Bernie. It's a play with a nice little play off the rush. He gets across the net, makes the save, and the puck goes high over the net. But a great play off the rush again by Swift Current. The play defense and went to the middle with the puck carrier, opened up the wide man, and once again, it's your goalie and the shooter one on one. And Mike Greenlay was just excellent there. The Memorial Cup championship poster feeds a pass on the far side, moving in is Garrett, and he's taken out of the play. Up to number 15, Knox trying to get the puck out. Poster deep in the Swift Current zone is hauled down. There will be a penalty, and Saskatoon will go on the power play. We're tied at three in period three. Dan Lambert is the penalized player off for hooking. Coaster's got great puck protection skills. He's a big man, a strong man, and he uses his body to shield the puck, and it forced Lambert to check through the man to get to the puck, and the risk is when you do that, you're going to get a hooking penalty. Well, it'll be interesting now, Bernie, uh, power play-wise, uh, Saskatoon's had a reasonable power play in the tournament, but not so good today. And, of course, Swift Current, a man short, they like to try to score. They're not just satisfied killing the penalty. They will try to score a shorthanded goal. Well, during the season, Swift Current had 16 shorthanded goals. And they have Lambert in the penalty box now. We're tied at three. Saskatoon's closer. Number 25, a first-round pick of the Detroit Red Wings, getting set for this face-off. Bernie, on power plays, face-offs are always so important. Win that face-off. There's a shot by Bauer, and goaltender Kruger covers up. Kaminsky, number 23 out there, a draft pick of the Minnesota North Stars. Bernie, and talking with the coaches, they both mentioned before the game that little things like face-offs would be very important, and Swift Current was concerned because their face-off men uh, at times can be inconsistent. Today they've done a nice job on face-offs, and Marcel is pondering some things right there, and I'm sure that uh, he knows that this face-off's important. You're on a power play. If you win the draw, right away you've got a, probably 30 seconds more of an advantage in terms of having the puck in the offensive zone. Well, he's made a change at center for the face-off. Dave and Scott Sissons, number 19, moved out there. There's a shot. Right on, and Kruger makes the save. Marcel knows his personnel well because Scott's a good face-off man. He mentioned that before the game to both of us, Bernie, and that was a good face-off win by, by Scott Sissons, and the puck goes back to the point. But the shot can go through traffic. Anything can happen. The players here attempting to get their name on the coveted Memorial Cup to join the likes of the 1960 St. Catharines. Roger Crozier and Vic Hadfield among the names on that 1960 Memorial Cup champion team from St. Catharines, Ontario. 11-15 remaining in the third period. 1-30 remaining in the penalty to Dan Lambert. The Blades on the power play, setting up Bauer. Straight up the middle. Has Kosher on the right side. Bauer got to the line, was hooked. There's a shot, the rebound is just sailed wide as Kosher got the rebound in front from close range. Now it's lifted by Sackick down the ice into the Saskatoon zone and backboard is Ken Sutton. Sutton number three. 6'1", 190 pounds. He's played outstanding in the Memorial Cup. Has the puck again. Up over the line. Gets a pass. Here's a chance to tell the cop. He's nailed to the ice. Whole line trying to set something up and it's cleared to center. Kaminsky. Gets it ahead to whole line. He's knocked to the ice. Number 21 is Darren Kruger. Bumped by Kaminsky. Shot. Knocked down in front by the defense. 30 seconds remaining in the penalty to Lambert. A shot. That's blocked. And taken by Daniels and shoots it into the Saskatoon zone. That was interesting, Bernie. We had Darren Kruger block a shot for his brother who's in goal, and uh, the Kruger blocked a shot for Kruger. The Twins, members of the Swift Current Broncos, Trevor Kruger and Darren Kruger in behind the net. This is Kevin Knopp trying to come up with it. Three seconds remaining in the penalty. They jam it in front. And Swift Current's Sheldon Kennedy trying to get it out. Now, here's a two-on-one break. The puck is brought out by Lambert. Lambert going in with Daniels, trying to jam it. And that stops. A two-on-one on the Blades. Nullify that scoring opportunity by Swift Current. 
So we remain tied at three with 9.25 remaining in regulation time. Here's the, here's the two on one. Lambert comes in. His angle's not very good, but now he takes the puck to an improved angle, but he goes to his backhand. It doesn't give him much of an angle. Greenway stays up for a little while, then goes down and blocks that shot. The, the defense and the goaltender worked very well to play that two on one. So Lambert breaking in with Daniels and Saskatoon. Stops with current on that scoring attempt. Here comes Bauer. He drills the puck in, and it's handled by goaltender Trevor Kruger. He's bumped and knocked to the ice. Jason Smart trying to come up with it. Here's Swift Current now, moving in with Trevor Sim, with McFarland, and Peter Soberlock digs into the corner after him. Here's Soberlock trying to get it to Kazowski in front. And Jason Smart has it for Saskatoon. Smart backhands it out to center. It's trapped there by Darren Kruger. Gets it ahead to Sim. Sim in with Kazowski looking for a pass. Loose puck here, Soberlack. He can't get a shot. And the Blades bring it out again. This is Bader. Bader moving in, rolls the puck, and it bounces off goaltender Kruger into the corner. Trevor Sim gets it ahead now to Soberlack. Long shot. Gloved by goaltender Mike Greenlay, and he drops it to the side of the net. 8.24 remaining in the third period. We're tied at three. Offside is Lambert. Bernie, what an unbelievable display of hockey. We're seeing one of the best Memorial Cups I've ever seen. I've seen lots of them live and lots on television. And this is an excellent hockey game. Both these teams are opening up a little bit here, giving us some good chances at both ends. And in terms of entertainment, this has been an unbelievable game. And an unbelievable tournament. Our salute to the organizers here in Saskatchewan. Saskatchewan Place and the Saskatoon Blades. Great hosts, Daryl Lubinicki, the general manager, Dennis Bayak, the assistant general manager, and the whole Saskatoon Blade organization in the Western Hockey League. Great hosts, the 89 Memorial Cup Championship. Cody, we're down to the last eight minutes of this game now, and it'll be interesting to see whether that, that game last night against Swift, uh, the Swift Current play will be a factor in terms of fatigue because they have to come back and play a game now uh, less than 24 hours later, and it's been a very good pace to this game. Kevin Knopf in his own zone, and the puck goes out to center. Sutton slaps it right back in. In behind the Swift Current net. Now they're setting up a 3-3 tie in the third period. Kennedy gets a pass over here. Daniels moving in, a chance for Knox. He gets a shot, and it's blocked by the defense. Still digging after it. This is Lambert. Lambert, number three, dumps it to Knox, trying to get it in front. It's intercepted by Sutton. Off the boards and down the ice. Goaltender Kruger comes out. Icing is waved off as, he's, as he touches the puck. Now it's cleared to an open wing. Moving over is Daniels. Setting up now. Number 19 for Swift Current. Look at Daniels' dance. Moving in. Trying to split by defenseman Sutton. And he's taken out of the play. Seven minutes remaining. The puck is stolen by Sackick. But he couldn't maintain possession. This is Sutton. Off the boards again and into the swift current zone. It'll be icing as it's touched by Kruger. And the faceoff will come deep in the Saskatoon zone. We'll be back at Saskatchewan Place in a moment.